we're going to talk about error values. Now your spreadsheets or your financial models should never ever have any error values in them. Some of the errors you can get are div zero errors, reference errors, NA errors, etc. Um, the way to do this in your spreadsheets is to implement some error handling in your formulae. Now I've got a few examples here to show you how we can do this. The first one's a relatively simple example using the if function. Now we've got sales and gross profit here. Uh, to calculate a gross margin percentage. Now, if gross profit is zero, then or sales is zero rather, then we're going to get an undefined uh, gross margin percentage. So, the way we handle this is we start with an if function. We say if sales is equal to zero, then show zero, else take the gross profit and divide it by sales and press enter and you get zero now if you just take out the if function and just do gross profit divided by sales you'll see that we get the div error so using the if function you can quite easily prevent your model from showing any errors the next one we're going to uh, move on to is using a function called the is error. Now here we want to remove the na error and force the formula to return zero using the if and is error formula. So we're going to first use a match function to find the number six in the list. So we match the six in this list and you see we get an na error. That is because the six does not exist in this list. If we change this to a 4, for example, we'll get, get a result for our formula because 4 exists in the list. Now, the way we get rid of this error is we go if is error, and then we put in the formula that we want to find out whether there's an error. The is error returns a true or false value. So if there's an error, this uh, formula will return true. If there's not an error, it will return false. So if there's an error, then we want to put zero. If there's not an error, we actually want to do the formula. So we're just going to copy that formula and then drop it in the uh, false argument for the if function and close the brackets and press enter. And you'll see that we get zero there. Lastly, Excel 2007 has kindly introduced a new function called the if error. Now please note this will not work in any um, Excel versions prior to 2007 but it sort of cuts out the extra step that we have to do in the example we've just done. So instead of saying if is error a formula then what the value must be if there is an error and then what the value must be if there's not an error we can just simply put equals if error and we've got the same um, example as we had in our first example. So if there's an error in calculating the gross profit percentage, then we return zero. So it's if there's an error in this formula here, we return zero. Again, obviously if we remove the if error, completely like that, we'll get the div zero error. Okay, so that's pretty useful. I mean, throughout your models, you can get rid of any errors, and if you've got changing assumptions, it can just um, stop your model from showing any errors throughout it. Pretty useful, worth trying. Cheers.